<sighs> You'd think, after the historically god-awful shit year Disney had in 2022, with shit project after shit project, one regurgitated story after another, losing millions and even billions of dollars, and firing their CEO just to bring back the guy who quit three years ago? You'd think, after all that, it would be a huge wake-up call to maybe stop pushing out shit content? Nope. Now poor Peter Pan is gonna have this shit stain of a product connected to its legacy. And judging by Disney's track record of the last year, and the new shitty trailer that just dropped, I'm predicting that instead of Peter Pan being the swashbuckling pirate fairy heroic that he's supposed to be, Disney thinks that Wendy is better suited for that role because, you know, Girls are cool and women are funny. By the way, speaking of Peter Pan... Who the fuck is that guy? And wait, 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 look at this, look at this. Who the fuck is that? I don't usually get upset at the race swapping because most of the time I just don't care. But bro, this is just doing the most. If Disney cares so much about representation, why can't these people who work at a billion dollar corporation come up with original, fresh, new characters to go along with an original story instead of painting white characters black and brown? Like how lazy can you be? Tinkerbell has her iconic appearance. I don't think that should be changed. Everyone who's watched Disney ever knows that Tinkerbell is a little blonde fairy, bro. I don't think she should be changed in the name of diversity. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're already trying to call the people that they want to buy their product racist for not wanting to see this shit. Oh my God. Well, this is gonna be shit. And at this point, I can't wait for the day Disney completely caves in as a company. I'm sorry, Mr. Walt, but you should have written a constitution within your company that would have kept shit like this in line. Oh well.